In this video I want to show you a new project idea I've been working on. So because of my YouTube channel I often get asked the question, what's the best resource to learn programming topic XYZ? So what's the best resource to learn Jetpack Compose for example? Or I want to start learning React, what's the best course for that? Or what's the best free tutorial? And for a while now I had this idea to build a website that answers these questions. So let's take a look at what I've been working on. So what you can see here is not a fully functional website yet. It's just a shell. It's basically just the HTML. I can't do anything here yet. The only point of this is to give you an idea on what I'm building and how it should look roughly and what the idea behind this is. So this is what you will see later when you typed in a search query. So for example, here we have the search query Android development, just as an example. And the idea is that this now gives you a list of the best tutorials and courses paid and free about this topic. So as you can see, we have these badges here that tell us if this is a free resource, a free resource that has a registration required, which is necessary on some websites, or if it's a paid resource and what medium, if it's text, like a blog post, or if it's in video format, depending on what you prefer. Now, there are many curated lists about programming resources out there. There are a lot of lists and blog posts with the best courses on learning JavaScript. And there are also these lists on GitHub. But the idea behind my website here is that this is community driven. As you can see, members will be able to submit these different courses and resources, and they will also be able to up and download them. And they will probably add more features like adding reviews in form of text and stuff like that. So the idea is that we create this community driven list that always brings the best resources for any given topic to the top. And then people can search for these resources. And of course, it shouldn't only cover Android development. I want to cover any programming topic, basically. And then here on the side, you can filter depending on your preferences. Some people are fine paying for courses, so they can include the paid ones. Others only want to see the free ones. And here I also, this is just an idea. This is how I want to provide more granular search results. So for example, if you search for Android development, then you have some suggestions here. For example, only show tutorials about the navigation component. I want to make this really granular. I don't want this to just include like Android courses or all React courses or all JavaScript courses. I want to make this granular enough that you can search for a specific topic like Decker and then you see a list of Decker tutorials and the best one should always move to the top. Now I am planning to keep this free so no one should be charged anything for looking at these results. But of course this concept only works if I have a large community that contributes to this. So I have to come up with some ideas on how to incentivize people to create an account to actually be able to vote. Because yeah, if I don't make it dependent on an account, then it's just too easy to abuse, I think. So I have some ideas for incentives, for some gamification elements. As you can see, there's a comma value up here, which is kind of a, a points value. I want to give attribution to people who submit resources. So so you can see who submitted this, which user, they will have a user profile with their points. And yeah, I have some other ideas, but I haven't implemented this yet. I'm also planning to actually implement a community, some kind of forum, because I think even today there is not really a really universal community for programming topics. It's, everything is scattered through many different Discord chats at the moment. So I think there is still room to have a good, well done programming forum. And this would be another way to incentivize people to actually sign up here and contribute to this. Because there will be an account necessary to vote, otherwise it's just too easy to abuse. Now my plan is to build a minimum viable product, a simple version as quickly as possible. And when the first version is ready, I will need some users to uh, try this out, some beta users that help me uh, at the first resources, see if everything works. And I know that some people of you enjoy doing this and would like to help me. So there's already a landing page online. You can go to a tutub.io and by the way, I think this is a really cool name. I actually came up with this at midnight trying to find a, a URL when I signed up for web hosting. I think tutub.io sounds pretty cool. You can go to this website and at the moment there's a, a waiting list here. If you want to join the beta access when this is ready, which should be soon, then you can add your email address here and I will contact you when this is ready. And yeah, I will need some people that help me uh, at the first couple of resources here and get this ball rolling. And then let's see if this is an idea that could fly. I uh, built this website so far in React. Uh, I absolutely love React because yeah, it's basically like Jetpack Compose and I already knew how Jetpack Compose works. So uh, using React 
was super easier and it's a lot of fun to use that and i am planning to monetize this project so i want to make money from this if possible but not by charging users so it will be free for everyone and it will also most likely not require a sign up to look at the full list the way I want to monetize this is that I will simply sell some paid slots to course creators. So probably in the future at the top there will be a slot for a sponsored course where someone can pay me a certain amount of money and they will have this spot maybe for a month or so for a specific topic. So maybe there's someone who created a note course that they sell on their website then they can approach me, purchase one of these paid slots and then they will have an advertisement here basically and of course I will make these sponsored slots very obvious so my plan is not to uh, camouflage this to hide this i want to comply to all laws and regulations so it will say sponsored it will look different it will be very clear that this is a paid slot and the rest are the organic results so this is the idea for monetization i have at the moment or maybe instead i will put the advertisement here on the right sidebar or something like that but i want to keep it real for users so i had this idea for this kind of website for a while now but when i then researched this topic this idea i found out that a very similar website already exists that basically implements the same idea but this other website is basically dead i looked at it and there are resources from 2015 at the top and there don't seem to be many contributions because i think you can get this kind of project only to work if you have a large community that contributes to it and this is normally really difficult if you don't have an audience yet but my benefit is that i have an audience already i have 200,000 subscribers on youtube at the moment now not not all of them actively watch my videos but a few thousands do and i think this is a benefit i have that can give me some initial traction and maybe get this idea to work we will have to see i'm also considering making this whole project open source later because some of you told me that i would like to uh, work on this as well and contribute to it now i don't want to make it open source right now because it's still in the very beginning and i'm changing a lot of stuff but in the future i can imagine doing this i think that's a cool idea and again if you want to join the beta access then uh, go to tutab.io and join the waiting list and i will keep you updated about this project take care